Hi guys, so to begin making a mandarin collar, first we need to measure the neckline. Half of my front neckline is 12cm. Don't forget to measure the back neckline too. Mine is at 8cm. If you don't have pattern, you can also measure directly half of the neck. Done with measuring, now we can start drafting. Create a straight horizontal line. Draw a perpendicular line on the left of the horizontal line. Then determine how tall you want the collar be. I would suggest around 3 to 5 cm. This time, I want to make it 4 cm. Mark 4 cm, then pull a line through. After that, mark base on half back neckline measurement earlier. Mine is 8 cm. Draw a perpendicular line. This part of color will be sewn to the back neckline. Continuing to the front, mark base on the half front neckline measurement. Draw a perpendicular line from the mark. From the corner, mark 1 cm above the line. Then use a curve ruler to shape the line. Oh, I got a smudge here. From the tip of this curved line, pull a perpendicular line up. And mark 4 cm tall. Curve. Now we first draw roughly how round you want the color tip to be. After you are sure with the shape, thicken the line, shape it with the curve ruler. I usually also take in 1 cm here just to make the top of my collar narrower so it will fit nicely on the neck. Done with drafting, we can trace the pattern. Trace from the back neckline area first. Then omit the 1 cm taken. Continue with the front. Add seam allowances as you desire. If your garment opening will be at front, you might want to unfold the center back like this. Don't forget to give notch so it will be easier later when you sew the collar to the bodice. Cut the pattern. And now we are ready to cut the fabric.
my center back is on fold so I didn't put allowance on the center back line cut twice as one side will be the color lining Usually people fuse interfacing to one side or both. You can also use hard interfacing if you wish your color to be stiffer than normal. I am using normal tricot to one piece of the color. Then pin the top of the collar. Make sure the wrong side of fabric is facing you. Sew from one edge to another. I start sewing 1cm from the tip to give seam space for the bodies. My seam allowance right now is 1 cm around, so until 1 cm before the end. Do not sew the lower part of the collar as it will be connected to the bodice later on. It should look like this at this point. Then sewing, we can cut small slash, so the curve shape will be nicer. Open and face all the seam to the lining part of the collar. Press down with finger. Then turn back. Stay stitch around 0.1 cm from the seam. This step is to hold the seam so the shape of the collar will be neat and sharp after ironing. Ta-da! Now we are done sewing our mandarin color. You can continue joining it to the bodies for your project. I used this color design for one of my Chongsam project. It looks beautiful with print and color combination. I used checkered fabric as the material. For my project, my opening is at the back, so I add wrap button on the center back, which you can also try if you want. And that's the end of this tutorial video. If you have subscribed to my channel, see you on my next video. Bye!